We'll go back to Ordinary Man. It, it's an amazing song. And I want to find out from you as well the Elton connection. Well, when, when, when we, when we um, recorded, I remember thinking, but I don't know what part of it, but it reminded me of an uh, Elton in the 70s, that style. And I went home and I, and I well, for, I'm still in front of me now for many, many years, more, more, more so than my, my wife than I. I said to Sharon, does this remind you of an Elton song? She said, not really. <laughs> I said, well, fuck off then. <laughs> and she said, uh, I said, well, what if he'd play on it, play on it or sing on it? She said, ask him. He says, yes, and the next one I know, Andrew's down in his place in Atlanta. Is that blowing your mind? I can't. I mean, can you get on a plane and go and record Elton John for Ozzy's album? <laughs> I mean, the whole thing was like that. Yeah. Just one thing after the next, you know? It's like make this basic kind of these basic tracks with, with the guys. And, you know, I played the piano to my best of my ability. Just this chorus, I had these chords for a minute, for years actually, and it never turned into anything. Then when I showed it to the guys, then that's when the magic happens again. Here, go here for the verse. Okay, cool. And do, you know, that's how it was all kind of made. And then it's that. And we write this heavy song. And then Duff calls me and says, okay, Slash can come over at this point to do it. I'm like, oh my God. So then Slash is on it. Then Ozzy is like, I want an orchestra and a choir on this song. Go to Abbey Road and record the orchestra and the choir. So I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm like, okay. So I go there and I, my favorite strings are uh, on the Bittersweet Symphony song by the Verve. Oh, I mean, those strings are just stupendous all the way through. So I found the guy <laughs> that did those strings, this guy named Will Malone, and then I look at his credits. And in relation to Post. <laughs> <laughs> no. I look, I look at his credits, and the first, his first job ever was the first Black Sabbath album. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, or the second one. Which one? That was his first job he ever had. Was Sabbath. A, was, was one.